Steve Martin, born August 14, 1945, Waco, Texas, U.S., American comedian, writer, and producer who began his career as a stand-up comic and eventually achieved success in motion pictures, on television, on Broadway, and in literature. Martin attended Long Beach State College in California. His interest in performing was honed during this period as he worked as a musician and magician at Disneyland and debuted his comedy and banjo-playing act in local nightclubs. He soon transferred to the University of California at Los Angeles, where he majored in theater. In 1967, while still a student, he accepted a contract to write for the hit television show The Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour, for which he won an Emmy Award in 1969. Within a few years, he was writing for the Sonny and Cher Comedy Hour and other top variety shows of the era. Martin acquired a modest, but loyal following during the early 1970s as he performed his stand-up routine on numerous television shows, particularly The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. His breakthrough came in 1976 when he hosted an episode of NBC's Saturday Night Live, the first of more than 25 appearances on the show throughout the years. Within months, Martin was the top comic in the United States and was drawing standing room only crowds to some of the country's largest performing venues. His exclamations well, excuse me. And I am a wild and crazy guy. Became national catchphrases. It was also during this period that Martin had success as a recording artist, his Let's Get Small, 1977, and A Wild and Crazy Guy, 1978, comedy albums earned Grammy Awards, and his hit single King Tut, 1978, sold more than a million copies. Martin wrote and starred in his debut film, the Academy Award-nominated short subject The Absent-Minded Waiter, in 1977. This led to an extended collaboration with writer-director-actor Carl Reiner on the hit comedies The Jerk, 1979, Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid, 1982, The Man with Two Brains, 1983, and All of Me, 1984. These films established Martin as a movie star of the first rank, and he subsequently retired from stand-up comedy. He demonstrated his willingness to take chances with critically praised limited audience fare such as Pennies from Heaven, 1981, The Lonely Guy, 1984, L.A. Story, 1991, and Leap of Faith, 1992, and he maintained his popular appeal in such films as Little Shop of Horrors, 1986, Roxanne, 1987, Planes, Trains and Automobiles, 1987, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, 1988, Parenthood, 1989, Father of the Bride, 1991, and Father of the Bride, Part 2, 1995. At the beginning of the 21st century, his box office success continued with Bringing Down the House, 2003, and Cheaper by the Dozen, 2003, and its sequel, 2005. He later portrayed Inspector Jacques Clouseau, a character made famous by Peter Sellers, in The Pink Panther, 2006, and The Pink Panther 2, 2009. Martin's other films included It's Complicated, 2009, The Big Year, 2011, Home, 2015, and Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk, 2016. Martin teamed with comedian Martin Short, a longtime friend and occasional collaborator, and Selena Gomez as an unlikely crime-solving trio in the TV series Only Murders in the Building, 2021, which Martin also co-create. Martin's noteworthy writing endeavors included the plays Picasso at the Lap and Agile, which premiered at Chicago's Steppenwolf Theater in 1993 before moving to other cities, and Meteor Shower, a comedy that ran on Broadway in 2017-18 and starred Amy Schumer. He also wrote a series of well-received satiric articles for The New Yorker magazine, later published in the best-selling collection Pure Drivel, 1998. His novella Shop Girl, 2000, was produced as a film in 2005 with Martin in a starring role, and his follow-up, The Pleasure of My Company, 2003, topped bestseller lists. His autobiography, Born Standing Up, A Comic's Life, was published in 2007, and he received a Kennedy Center honor later that year. In private life, Martin was an art connoisseur, and he explored the New York art world in the novel An Object of Beauty, 2010. In 2009 Martin released The Crow, a collection of original banjo compositions that featured guest performances by banjo virtuoso Bela Fleck and country legends Earl Scruggs and Dolly Parton. A radical departure from the novelty and kitsch of King Tut, 
The Crow was critically lauded and ultimately won the Grammy Award for Bluegrass Album of the Year. Martin continued in that stylistic vein with Rare Bird Alert, 2011, on which he performed with the bluegrass band The Steep Canyon Rangers, and Love Has Come For You, 2013, a Grammy-winning collaboration with singer-songwriter Edie Brickell. The latter album inspired the musical Bright Star, which premiered in 2014 and made its Broadway debut two years later. The duo co-wrote the score, and Martin penned the book for the sentimental play about two connected love stories in North Carolina during the 1920s and 40s. It received five Tony Award nominations, including Best Musical, Score, and Book. In 2016 Martin, Short, and the Steep Canyon Rangers launched a comedy and bluegrass tour, and one of the shows was televised as the 2018 comedy special Steve Martin and Martin Short, an evening you will forget for the rest of your life. During this time Martin also collaborated with the Steep Canyon Rangers on the long-awaited album, 2017. In addition, Martin hosted the Academy Awards ceremony in 2001 and 2003 and co-hosted the event with Alec Baldwin in 2010. Martin received the Mark Twain Prize for American Humor in 2005 and was given an honorary Oscar in 2013. Major Works his role as Naveen R. Johnson the Cat Juggler in the comedy film The Jerk, 1979, is undoubtedly one of his most memorable performances. The movie has been praised as one of Martin's best comedic efforts and Premier Magazine voted his performance number 99 on their list, the 100 greatest performances of all time. Steve Martin was also much loved as the reluctant father of the bride, George Banks, in the film Father of the Bride, 1991. He played the role of a businessman whose daughter is planning to get married. The movie was a major box office success. Awards v Achievements He is the recipient of several Grammy Awards, including two Best Comedy Album Awards for Let's Get Small, 1978, and A Wild and Crazy Guy, 1979. He won the Lifetime Achievement Award presented by the American Comedy Awards in 2000. In 2013, Steve Martin was presented with an Academy Honorary Award in recognition of his extraordinary talents and the unique inspiration he has brought to the art of motion pictures. Personal Life v. Legacy He married actress Victoria Tennant on November 20, 1986. The marriage ended in a divorce in 1994. He married in Stringfield, a writer and former staffer for The New Yorker magazine in 2007. His wife gave birth to a daughter in 2012, making Steve Martin a first-time dad at the age of 67. Net Worth Steve Martin has a net worth of $110 million. Steve Martin Height, Weight and Other Information Celebrities' physical status is one of the most important things for the fans. Fan followers are always having craze on physical stewardship like height, weight, eye colors, body shape and so on. We understand your demand. In case of height, Steve Martin is 1.83 m tall. The approximate weight is 70 kilograms. The weight varies from time to time, here you get the latest weight. Steve Martin Marital Status and Affairs Do you know the marital status of Stephen Glenn Martin? In this part, you will be able to know his personal facts and issues that you are interested to. In the table below, we have depicted his marital status, spouse, current affairs, hobbies and much more personal informations in short. In this section we have added all his favorite personalities, things and others related information. Let's check the table below to know about marital status and other information.